Ham radio versus a walkie-talkie. What? Shut up and sit down. Hey, folks, thanks for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. No, I am not K6UDA, just to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ham Radio 2.0, where we talk about reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio and just kind of all around amateur radio stuff. One of the top search terms, I'm going through this versus series on YouTube, and the reason I'm going through this is because these are some of the most searched for terms. If you go to YouTube and you type in Ham Radio versus, these are some of the terms that come up. One of them is Ham Radio versus Walkie Talkie. I don't understand this. I don't understand ham radio versus a walkie-talkie. A walkie-talkie is nothing more than a handheld radio. This is a walkie-talkie. An HT, commonly referred to as a handheld transceiver or a handy-talkie, and a walkie-talkie is the same thing. I looked up um, a couple of the videos that came up when I when I searched ham radio versus walkie-talkie, and one guy said, oh, the difference is that, that a two-way radio it uh, has multiple frequencies, like maybe, say, a Bofang or like a, like a Motorola for the police department. And a walkie-talkie only has one channel. Um, no, that is, that is incorrect. First of all, in today's day and age, 2021, can you think off the top of your head about a, re, about a, a modern radio that's made that only has one channel? I don't think anything exists like that today. Back when uh, radios were crystallized, you know, two or three, four decades ago... Yeah, you probably have walkie-talkies that were one channel. You had some mobile radios that were one channel. I mean, or base station radios that were one channel. Uh, one channel, I, I don't think that the one channel thing is a good argument. A walkie-talkie is simply a handheld radio. And you can get handheld radios in ham radios. You can get them in CB radios. You can get them on FRS radios. This is a GMRS radio from Ochang which is a full uh, full power 5 watt HT handy talkie. By the way, you guys who uh, who had I, I did a, a video a while back about uh, the best HT for ham radio for 2020. And I had a lot of people come by and say, "No, no, no, HT." And I said I said HT stands for handy talkie. And I had a lot of people come by that said, "No, no, no, HT stands for handheld transceiver." Actually, it stands for both. If you go to Wikipedia right here and you search for walkie-talkie, you scroll down right here, the first walkie-talkie was an AMSRC SCR 536 transceiver from 1941, also made by Motorola named the Handy Talkie. Okay, right, uh, right here, the abbreviation HT derived from Motorola's Handy Talkie trademark is commonly used to refer to portable handheld ham radios with walkie-talkie often used as a layman's term or specifically to refer to a toy. So like your walkie-talkie toys that you buy at Walmart today are actually FRS radios and they're channelized. They have either 16 or 22 channels. So a walkie-talkie is nothing more than an HT, a handheld transceiver, a handy-talkie. So many things in the ham radio world today are derivative of Motorola terms, and HT is one of them. HT is an old Motorola term. Handy talkie. Handy talkie is an old Motorola term. Some other Motorola terms we still use in ham radio today is PL tone, private line. PL is a private line. The modern term for a PL tone is a CTCSS tone. And the definition of a CTCSS tone is found on the amateur radio exam for a technician. You, you're not going to really find, you might find reference to a PL tone, but they call it a CTCSS tone. Most of your modern radios are going to have CTCSS in the menu to set your subaudible tone. They're not going to call it a PL tone. But a PL tone, a uh, PL for private line, is an old Motorola term. Same thing as code plug. A code plug is an old Motorola term because on Part 90 radios that were locked down and could only be programmed by the dispatch of the fire department, police department, whoever. You used to have a physical plug that you would plug into the side of the radio when open up programming, and then you'd use your DOS computer to program the radio, or sometimes an old terminal-type computer to program the radio. You'd get four, five, six, ten channels, however many they have programmed in the radio, take the plug out of it, and then it was programmed. And that way, if the police department or fire department hit a bunch of buttons on the front of the radio, 
not it wouldn't it wouldn't change the programming on the radio. You change a channel, but you couldn't like delete a channel or add a channel or go out of band or out of frequency. So that's an old Motorola term, also code plug. That's where that comes from. So handy talkie is nothing more than an old Motorola term that means handy that means walkie talkie, and and walkie talkie according to this article here is commonly referred to as a toy. Well, if you talk about like I said, if you talk about toys transceivers that are toys today the best and most modern definition of that is an frs radio I mean, you get frs radios a, two, a pair of two at walmart for 30 bucks today so so don't be fooled by terminology ham radio operators we have our own lingo we start talking about qrz and qst and having a qso and we start talking about um QRM and we, we use a whole bunch of Q signals and we'll talk about the band is up or the band is down. We'll talk about sunspots. We'll talk about, Oh no, the, the gray line. And we'll talk about the, the muff, the multiple, the minimum usable frequency. We talk about all these terms and whatnot, and it can be ambiguous at first, once you get into it, but that's true for any hobby. I mean, you get into a bunch of four by four and off-road guys and they're using terms that I don't recognize. Okay, you, you start hanging out with motorcycle guys. They're using terms that some of them I might recognize, but I'm like, okay, now what do you mean by that exactly? So ham radio operators, we have our own terms and our own lingo. And maybe that's another video topic I can film later on. But an HT, a handy talkie, a handheld transceiver, if you want to call it that, that's okay. And a walkie talkie is nothing more than a handheld radio. Okay, you've got handheld radios, you've got mobile radios, that you can mount in your car that run on a 12 volt power supply, run on your, your 13.8 charging system in your vehicle. Those same mobile radios can run on a power supply that you set up at home to run as a base station. And you've got home base station radios where you actually plug it into a 110 volt alternator current outlet and run your radio that way. So you basically got three types of radios, handheld radio, which is a walkie talkie HD, your, base, your mobile radio, which can be used in the mobile or in the ham shack or at home, always has to run on 12-volt powers, 13.8, 12-volt, 13.8 power supply. And you've got your base station radios, which are usually larger radios. That's a base station radio right there. And that plugs into the AC power in, on the wall behind that. But in t if, you, if you open up the radio, you'll see a power supply. And actually, the radio runs on 12 volts. It's got a power supply converter that converts 12 volts to 110 and allows me to plug it into the wall. So it's got its own built-in power supply, as it were. So don't be fooled by the term handy talkie or walkie talkie or handheld transceiver or something like that. It's just a handheld radio that runs on a battery that you can take with you. And it took me eight minutes to explain that to you. Oh, well.